how well Poles speak English. Fantastic country. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Do you speak English? She spoke good English. Everything's shut on a Sunday. Hey fellas, do you speak English? Excuse me, miss, do you speak English? Ah, he speaks English. Yeah. No, local food. Uh, do you speak English? No. Look at this, guys. Unbelievable. Greetings to you all on this sunny Sunday morning from the magnificent city of Warsaw. Now lately I've been making a theme of videos where I go to different cities and different countries finding out just how easily you could get by with English. Now, I'm right in the center and over there there's a shopping mall. Let's start there and see just how well Poles speak English. Let's go. Right away the air condition hits you and I forgot that everything's shut here on a Sunday. Good morning, how are you? Justin. Please don't. Uh, no filming? No filming. Only, only smartphone. There is a smartphone. No, it's camera. Yeah, but it's, it has a telephone built in. Ah, come on, let me film. Don't worry about it. I won't tell anybody. So, I'm being rather discreet because um, it turns out the security guard. I'm surprised Poland doesn't allow it. I've, uh, I've not encountered this yet in Poland. But. One thing I forgot to say. This is one of the big drawbacks with, uh, with Poland, in my opinion. One of the reasons why I don't think I could live here, although it's a fantastic country, everything's shut on a Sunday. This whole shopping center, massive mall that must cost thousands and thousands and thousands every single day to run and operate is completely shut down. I don't know who I'm gonna ask questions to here. Good morning, young lady. Oh, you're open from 10, but you speak English? Yes. Is there like a food court here in the mall? Like restaurants and that? Thank you very much. This young lady spoke English. Now the thing is, doing this here in Poland is not going to be the same as doing it in Georgia or Armenia. There was, for instance, in Georgia, a lot of Russians that spoke good English and the Georgians struggled a little bit. Whereas here, it's going to be rather hard to distinguish who's Polish and who's Ukrainian because there are loads of them. They're everywhere. I'm mostly here right now, uh, Russian and Ukrainian spoken on the street, more than Polish actually. It's madness. Now it's only been the case for a couple of years guys. I think two or three years since they started closing on a Sunday. And for me it's a big drawback. Not that I'm a big shopper, I don't like shopping so much. However, I do like the convenience of getting what I want when I want it, or at least within reasonable hours. Especially because in this part of the world, you don't have the luxury of, you know, the likes of um, Amazon working, where you can order something this morning and it delivers to your house. Yeah, I don't know. Bowls, open on a Sunday. Come on, guys, get your act together. I tell you, this is empty. Good morning, do you speak English? No? Good morning. Do you speak English? Yeah. Can you tell me why all the stores are closed? Uh, because it's Sunday and in Poland, it's Sunday, all the stores are closed. Really? Yeah, yeah. Why? I don't know, our, our government uh, made that decision a few years ago and... Do you like it? No. Oh. Sure, isn't it? Yeah, it's cheap. Thank you. That's a good question, just ask people why all the stores closed. She spoke good English. Good morning, young lady. Do you speak English? A little bit. Wonderful. Why are all the shops closed? Because it's Sunday. And nothing works on a yeah, Sunday? Yeah, only here, only food. Only food? This yeah. whole mall, only food? Yeah, all, today shops are closed. Why? Because today is a day without open shops. In all of Poland? Yeah. All the shops in Poland yeah. are closed? Wow. All markets, everything. Everything? Only, yeah. Only restaurants or these uh, shops called Jabka. Jabka, okay. Yeah, only this. Thank you. You speak good English, by the way. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good morning. Do you speak English? No. Good morning. Do you speak English? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Can you tell me why all the shops are shut? Yes, uh, they're shut on Sundays. Every Sunday? Yeah. They're just like, you know, five Sundays in the year when they are open. Why? <laughs> there are many interpretations. The basic is that uh, the working class people should be... We're back in socialism right now in Poland. Oh, right. Working class people should spend time with their families on Sundays. Oh, right. that's, that's, people like it or is this...? Uh, well, some people like it. Do you? Uh, for me, I'm going to the movies, so no bother. No bother. <laughs> 
fact, you speak very good English, by the way. Did you live in England yeah. or what? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> You've got a few tricks up your sleeve. Thanks yeah, a lot. Okay. Bye bye. Wow, that looks good. Do you guys speak English? Can you tell me why all the shops are closed? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Thank you. Good morning, mate. Berlin doner kebab. Good morning. You're yes. from Turkey or what? No, that is uh, Polish. Polish, yeah? Is it good? It is very good. You speak good English. Let me ask you a question. Why are all the shops closed? Uh, all time in seven days, uh, all closed. Everything? Everything. Is good or bad? Yeah, I, I think that is good because uh, the most people is uh, sleeping. Yeah. Relax. Uh, Relax. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. That kebab looks very good. So now we've figured out why they did it. As you can see, the main retailers here for food, Subway, KFC, McDonald's, Burger King. It's just the same everywhere, isn't it? I haven't seen Polish food yet. There must be one. Let's have a look, see if we can find a Polish food retailer. I know it's not the theme of this video, but it's one of the bigger malls here. And now I'm just curious. Three burger joints, one chicken joint, vegan delights. Come on, show me at least one selection of Polish foods. Sorry to say, it says Ukrainian kitchen. Ukrainian food? No, Ukraine. It's getting worse than I thought. Could always kind of like find one place at least. There you have it guys, just a quick summary of the food court here. No local food, loads of American retailers, loads of them. Anyways, let's get out of this mall and hit the streets and see how well they speak English here in Poland. Nicest security guard ever. But what a nonsensical policy. Not to film with a camera, but you can film with a phone. I've heard that before. If anybody knows how that makes sense and why, let me know because don't get it. I've got an idea. Usually when I do this, I like to ask for directions. Last night I was, well, I spent a few hours down in Novishviat having a few drinks, which is one of the principal roads here in Warsaw. Great place to party, by the way. And if you haven't seen my video on nightlife in Warsaw, please do. You'll know what I'm talking about. However, good evening. Do you speak English? Yes. Oh, good morning, by the way. Um, quick question. Do you know where Novi Sviat is? No idea. I'm actually not from Warsaw. Oh, where are you from? Bialystok. Where? Bialystok. Oh, Bialystok. I've been to Bialystok. Yeah, I'm not from here. So well, have know. a nice day. You too. She's not from Warsaw, but she is Polish. <laughs> And she spoke pretty well. I don't think we're going to have a problem with English here, guys. And you'll notice, just like in Moscow, just like in Riga, Stalin left his mark here. Magnificent building. I should go and visit that one day. Excuse me, do you speak English? No? Hey, fellas, do you speak English? Yeah, actually. Oh, great. London, so. Oh, all right. You're in luck. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I thought you heard you speaking Polish. You got uh, the... Yeah, yeah, no, because I was born here. But oh, nice one, mate. There, yeah. Do you know a street called Novish yet? Novish I can find a few. Oh, that'd be great. Cheers, mate. Appreciate yeah, it. No, well, no Thanks. Bye-bye. Yeah. That counts, because, I mean, all right, from London, born here. Look at that little angel there. Weird looking, but interesting. Good morning, young lady. Do you speak English? Can I ask you a question? Sure. Novish Fiat, do you know where that is? No, I have where, no idea. Where are you from? I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam? Mm. Holidaying here? Yes. Really? <laughs> I didn't expect that. Really? I thought that there are a lot of Vietnamese here. Is there? Yes, I saw some uh, Vietnamese restaurants since I, I come here. I love Vietnamese food, it's nice. Really? friend fall down, uh, I think she fell down. I was looking for a pharmacy. You know, can I tell you, the crazy thing with Poland is that everything shuts on a Sunday. Absolutely yes. everything. But why don't I go on a mission with you to try and find an open pharmacy? What's your name, by the way? Uh, Gun. Gun? Yes. Hello, Gun. I'm Justin. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Excuse me, guys. Are you local? Do you uh, speak English? No. <laughs> no? Sorry. Do you know if there's an open pharmacy? Where are you from, anyway? Do you speak good English? So, so. Where are you from? <laughs> Germany? No. Oh. I'm from Poland. I asked you if... Do you know, <laughs> that helps. Um, very good English, by the way. Do you know where there's a pharmacy that opens now? Apteka. I what? don't know. You don't know, huh? Sorry. Okay, have a great day. Your English is very good, by the way. Thank you. How come? Do they speak a lot of English I in Vietnam? I studied at school. Okay, I studied at school too, but I don't speak Vietnamese, that's for sure. Your school don't teach Vietnamese. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> is this your first time in Poland? No, I've been here a few times. Is really? it your first time in Poland? Yes, my first time in Europe even. Really? Hi, guys, do you speak English? One moment, please. 
Posh Bodage. Ah, he speaks English. Yes. <laughs> Hello, mate. How are you? Speak English? Good. Good. Uh, where is the main entry? How do I go upstairs? Apteka, Rosman. Uh, prosto. Yeah. Po schodach. Go straight up. Yeah. And upstairs. On the right. On the right. Thank you very much, my friend. Good luck. Cool young man, speaking English. Very helpful. Proud dad. So he should be. What a nice station, huh? So is Vietnam more crowded than Warsaw? Like, is there a lot more people in the streets? Yes. A lot more, yeah? Hey, look, this is what we want. Rossman right there. Nice and cool in here, isn't it? I don't think we're going to leave this place. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Yeah, we found it. It was a pleasure to meet you. Get back to your friend, take care of her. And I'm impressed how well you speak English and how kind you are. You should come to Vietnam and see how well people speak English. I definitely will. I have a friend from America uh, who lives in Vietnam. And I met him in, in, uh, in Georgia uh, two weeks ago. And I promised him I was going to come and vlog in Vietnam. So when I come, I'll see you as well. I stay at the capital city. Oh, really? Yeah. Have a wonderful day and I hope your friend feels better. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Phew, I tell you what, it's nice here in this train station. I've just noticed something. There's a bakery over here. It's quite decent. It's called Paul's. They've got them uh, in a few places. They were much better before. I guess because they got multinational now, they have to streamline, mass produce. Do I want to come all the way to Poland, a country that makes magnificent pastries and end up in a commercial French pastry place. I think that would be rather hypocritical. So let's keep looking, guys. So guys, last night I was walking around town and I saw an old style Icarus bus. Now these were buses made in Hungary uh, and they supplied mainly the countries of Eastern Europe and the Soviet Union. There is a tour, it's like a regular bus ride that you can hop on, but let's find out in English how to find that bus. Excuse me, do you speak English? No. Uh, 100 bus. No, thank you. Might be that the English is well spoken by the younger generation, just like in many of these countries. Hello, mate, do you speak English? Belarus, Ukraine. Huh? Belarus, Ukraine. Russian, you what a nice guy. Tried his best. Knows a few words. Wasn't shy to share them. So the bus I'm looking for, I think, leaves at 12. Excuse me, miss. Do you speak English? Yes. I'm looking for the bus 100. Do you know where it goes from? Are you from here? Uh, yes, but I need to check it. Oh, thanks, because it's Central 22, but I'm not sure where is the stop. Over there? Perfect. Thank you so much. Very friendly. Thank, Thank you. you. Are Bye. you local from here? Uh, no, I'm from another city, but, but I'm a student here. Ah, so. very nice. What's your name? <laughs> Hola. Hola, I'm Justin. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. What a kind young lady. Very friendly. That's one thing I do find. And all you Poles who say to me that I'm wrong, I'll correct you again. The Polish people are very nice and friendly. Travel with me, you'll see how friendly they are. And she pointed me in the right direction. <laughs> it's not the bus I'm looking for. It's not an Icarus, but it is an interesting one. Let's go and have a look. This video has turned out to be a, a complete mishmash of things, but at least we're getting to see if the locals speak English. This is the Polish Nisa, named after the town. And this was built actually in the 1950s. It's always nice to see old cars like this in such good nick. I mean, the interior is just perfect. Truth is, they were produced up until the 1990s. So this must, might be a, a newer one. Just like many things in the Soviet Union, they didn't modernize or update them. So that's the third bus stop I've just done in this vicinity, and it's not the right one. I don't know where that's going, but that's what I want to hop on. Ah, oh, guys, unbelievable. Where did that leave from? <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Been walking around for an hour trying to get on that thing and it just drove past me. Oh well, sometimes it's just not meant to be. Plus, you know what? 
it's about 30 to 32 degrees right now humid as hell and i'm assuming if they're authentic which it looks like it's authentic it probably won't have any air conditioning so it might be a blessing in disguise maybe it's something you want to try in the spring or the autumn maybe not on a 33 32 degree sun sunny day guys look at this magnificent building now, unfortunately oftentimes they look great on the outside but not so good on the inside so let's take a look you guys live here no we are only tourists ah you're exploring like yeah. me huh we, we saw you walk in and thought, what, what's <laughs> why not follow the guy where are you from Germany. Germany. Oh, nice one. Well, have a nice day. Keep following. <laughs> and guys, I've just fallen on a place called Bistro Warsaw. Bistro Warsaw. Let's go in and have a look. Old style radio. Hi there. Hi. Look, cool radio. Do you have a list in English? Uh, yes. Uh, breakfast. Yeah, breakfast. Breakfast. Uh huh. Thank you very much. Even though she didn't speak English, she was very helpful. Tried her best. That is so refreshing. That looks amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this, guys. What a presentation. This is absolutely phenomenal. Sun dried tomatoes, beautiful fluffy omelet, feta, spring onions on top. This right here. Salad with honey mustard is gorgeous. Well, guys, what a phenomenal find that was. Right in the center. Delicious, fresh, family run. It really ticked all the boxes. I'll be going back there for sure. Well, bit of a crazy video, a mishmash. We walked miles and didn't make it to the tram, but we found a new place to eat, and that's always good. As for the level of English, well, I'll tell you what, if anybody's wondering whether if they come to Poland, they'll get by with English, let me tell you, you definitely will. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and remember, enjoy your journey.